Good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. And uh, before we go ahead with today's blessing, for the new listeners, whosoever are there, you can go ahead and also have a look at this link above, which takes you towards yoga asanas, flexibility, diet, and even sleep patterns. It helps you a lot. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. What does Baba have to say in today's blessing? He teaches us another method to be detached and to be like a guest on this earth and perform every action without ego, without the ego of I and mine, which brings in a lot of trouble in relationships and for the work to be successful or anything to progress ahead. So let's understand what does Baba have to say in today's blessing. Baba says, may you constantly be up above with the attitude of being a guest. Up above means to be in contact with God while meditating, to be detached from things, from the feelings of this is mine, that is mine, so that our thoughts are in connection with God the Father as much as possible. So be up above with the attitude of being a guest and thereby make your household and your stage elevated. So your household will get elevated. There won't be any conflicts. There won't be any ego hassles. There won't be any form of mood swings or any form of not being in contact or not talking to each other, which is what usually happens because of ego. So that will make your stage elevated. And uh, let's understand what does Baba have to say in the explanation. Baba says, those who move along, considering themselves to be guests, become detached from the house of their bodies so I am a soul you're a soul we are a guest even in this body we say we are a guest in this world but God is talking to the neck about the next level God is saying even in this body you are a guest because you're not going to take this body along with you when you go up so God says everything is connected to this body from your color to your caste to your creed to your religion God says when you go up to Param Dham what is your religion there you are not a Hindu or a Muslim or a Sikh or a Isai, right? Or whether you are soul conscious. Just you, the soul, are up there. Your body is here. Money, all the certifications, all the qualifications, all the property, all the jewelry, everything is left over here. So then who are you? What is your true identity? So that is where we understand that we are just a point of light, a divine being. We are just a guest in this body. And even this body and bodily things which we get so attached to throughout our life because of generating or developing a habit or a sanskar while being in this body and calling everything as mine or my. So God says, let's practice to get away from that my and mine. So Baba says, a guest does not have anything of his own. When you go to a hotel, you don't say this is my TV, this is my bed, this is my quilt, or even if you like something over there, this is my television set. No, you can't say that, right? He will use everything. So you use this body to do your good karmas. Use everything around you, technology, everything which you have around you, resources, energy, power, everything for the good karmas. So then Baba says, a guest does not have anything of his own. He will use everything, but not with the feeling of ownership. So when there's a feeling of ownership, my idea, my thing, I help them with that money or with that thing, or with that technology or with my equipment, or with any form of thing, my car, I give them the ride, whatsoever small, small things God wants us to remove from the consciousness of I. We are here to share everything. Think about it. What is there which is ours? Even if somebody takes away something from you, it still remains on this earth, right? The ownership is temporary. But God says, let us remove our intellect from that ownership also. Even that person who's stolen something from you, or taken something from you, is not going to take it along with him or her and go back to Paramdham. So it's a transaction, it's just exchanging of hands, that is what is happening. But when we have the consciousness of ownership, we get troubled, mine. We get to the extent of getting revenge, we go to the extent of, of uh, having bad wishes for that person. And God says that is what we don't need to do because even we are guests on this earth and nothing is ours. So God then says, while using all the facilities to the extent that he is detached from them, using the facilities, everything, all the all the different facilities which you have, which provide you comfort, use them, but don't be attached to them or don't have any form of tag name attached to them or, or find your identity with them. Like we say, I'm rich or I'm comfortable, I'm poor 
all that is an identification don't even do that god says because that will create a mood swing in your mind and god doesn't want that to happen to his children so then baba says that while using all the facilities to the extent that he is detached from them so he will be just as loving to the father so when you are not in the consciousness of i me mine and not in the conflict of i me mine with other people that's the time which you're saving to be in constant remembrance of god that helps you to be in connection with god so baba says he easily is beyond the body relations of the body and all possessions relationships of the body brother father mother sister wife husband relatives we call them my my mine and when something happens to them we are sad or we are in mood swing god says remove that attachment because every soul has got their own part everything is fixed even if somebody dies or leaves the body it's fixed they don't die actually they just leave the body it's not death actually they're not left you they've left the body and gone to some other household or gone back so god says that everybody has got their own part to play and no none of the possessions which you say are yours will be there forever with you so the baba says to the extent that a householder has an attitude of being a guest now if you reach to that 100% level which is going to happen at the end that is the level of being totally detached from this is mine or that is mine or he is mine or this is mine or she is mine and to that extent he becomes elevated and his stage is high so high stage doesn't mean that you are powerful when a in a position your state of mind is powerful you are so detached you are so loving at the same time detached from expectations loving at the same time that is what god says and being a trustee of looking after things you can't be like oh this is this doesn't belong to me so what even if it breaks no that is not what is god is talking about it's not that you go to a hotel room and you start if you break something is like i don't care god says you don't have the feeling of that i broke something of mine but then yes you have to pay for it right it's like you're taking care of it as a trustee you have to take care of it so take care of your relationships take care of your body but don't think this is my body if something happens to it don't be saddened by it don't be in a mood swing throughout the day you get a scratch you get a pimple and you're in a mood swing so i'm talking to everybody over here be it positions be it finances be it your looks be it anything baba says just be like a guess it's not yours you're just using it even this body you're using it think about it how would that feel so i leave you with this beautiful word and a beautiful beautiful understanding of what god wants us to understand and be detached so that we can love him be in connection with him be in meditation with him so that we can remove our sins so i leave you with this beautiful word and have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti